Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Today we got mo platforms, mo problems. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we do that, we're gonna bring along some more inventory. Dixie is very happy to be joining us. You're definitely gonna want a companion for this one. It's a bit of a doozy. This is definitely one of the harder of the K levels. Requires some good hand-eye coordination. Prepare yourselves. And having the Kong Panion does, of course, make it easier. So we're here to get five puzzle pieces. And the eventual prize at the end. So that's this is kind of the uh, the gimmick of this one. It starts you out early. Is these these platforms will slowly flip over. And sometimes it's kind of tough to know what interval they're going to flip over or to know when things are going to happen. Oh boy. No, okay. Well, that's death number one. Good thing I bought 10 Dixies today. Eww. This is going to be a doozy. Could also rename this episode The Butthole Clencher. I'm not going to call it that, but I could. There's a lot of very quick, tight jumps that you have to make. It's a little tough in certain ways because Donkey Kong's kind of floaty. So it's a little tough to make those little tiny hops that you need to not take damage. Ooh, that was a pretty clutch jump. If you're taking damage here, you can refill with a heart. Very nice. But the early going of this level isn't so bad. However, it's going to get pretty chaotic here in a moment. Okay. You love that. We'll see just how much patience I have for this. And muscle memory for all of this is basically non-existent, so you're getting you're getting the real deal, raw and uncut. D-Mike plays, platform problems. D-Mike struggles through platform problems, however you would like to format the SEO for this one. Throw in some tags, it would all be applicable. But yeah, this one, it's tough. It's not super unfair, at least. Some of these levels are very unfair. This one in particular, it could go either way, but I would say it's not, it's not horrific. Oh no. You just have to be quick and nimble. That's what this one's all about. Hopefully I can make progress each time. It does grind my gears a little bit whenever I'm playing this game and I'm making these simple little mistakes. Obviously trying to commentate and play a platformer is not the easiest thing to do, but that's why I'm a professional. So you're getting the best of the best here. Stuff that's potentially never been done before. So, you know what? Yeah, let's go ahead and reclaim our heart. There are some jumps that you're going to have to make later on in this level where it feels nearly impossible to do without taking any damage. I'm sure it is possible. And, ooh, okay. Doing great. I like having the Dixie Barrels for two reasons. One. Having the Kong Panion does make the levels substantially easier. Although in this case, maybe not. <laughs> and it also gives me a very quick metric on uh, how many times I've died. So let's go ahead and refill those Dixie Barrels. Nothing to see here. Hmm. Hopefully I can do it within 10 lives or I'm gonna be pretty embarrassed. We will find out. But yes, it tells me immediately how how well I'm doing. I enjoy these levels, even though they are definitely applicable for pain in the buns territory. I don't really feel, as long as they're not super unfair, I don't really feel like levels 
In this case, the K levels are unfun. Especially some of the early ones, which had some pretty clever platforming and, and obstacles to, to get through. Okay. Gotta work on my button press, and that's my problem. Alright. We're feeling okay. We're doing alright. We're keeping it cool. This game is meant to just be kind of a cash time, and we're trying to keep it that way. Not gonna get upset. Here at Demike Industries, we don't often have room for tantrums, complaining. So we're just gonna do our best. It's all we can do, really. I like that saying, though, because it's encouraging basically, like, no wiggle room for the fact that sometimes you don't do your best. So all you can do is your best. No, actually, you could do a whole lot worse. We're going to try to do our best. Maybe adding the word try in as a qualifier is good. All right, so this this little platform right here seems a little innocuous. There's a spot over there to the left, little crevasse. You got to bump in there and get that puzzle piece. That one's really easy to miss. I didn't remember that one when I played this one back in the day, back in my youth. So that one took a little bit of hide and seeking. But yeah, this part, this is kind of when the level takes the, once again, another weird statement, the kid gloves off. The, the view kind of zooms out a little bit too, which is kind of obnoxious. And you know, as K-Levels go, if you mess up, you're right back to the beginning, so... Alright, here we go. This is where... the wheat is separated from the chaff. Or something. You gotta make some pretty quick jumps. You might be wondering, where do you go from here? You gotta jump over the purple things. You gotta keep going. It's very tricky if you're not quick. Very quick little hip and hops. And then you're right back to this nonsense. Make sure you get the puzzle piece. Oh no. Wait. <laughs> yeah, there's no there's no coming back from that one, unfortunately. That was good though. Getting that puzzle piece will save me in the future. Unless I back out of the level. Eventually I might be doing this one DK solo. Hopefully not, but there you go, you saw some progress. It's one of the things about this game. It does, like I mentioned before, kind of grind my gears is when I make a lot of progress and I feel like I'm doing well, and then I make little silly mistakes. Like microwaving the hot dog too long, not covering it in a wet paper towel. And you get a dry, exploded hot dog and your microwave's all sad, you don't want that. But, you get that muscle memory, which is Crucial for learning and for life. Let your memories inhibit your muscles. Okay, so far so good. And sometimes it kind of helps just to get into a little bit of a rhythm. The more you play to the level, obviously, the better you're probably going to get it. You're more familiar with the tasks at hand. And as long as you don't kind of break it up too much, that should benefit you. I don't know why I'm kind of explaining how playing video games works. But it can be applied to pretty much anything in life, I suppose. You'll get better the more you do something. Practice makes better, right? Remember that phrase when I was a little kid? Practice makes perfect. It doesn't. Because... There's only one thing that's perfect in the world. And that, my friends, are vanilla Dunkaroos that can be dipped into the chocolate. So, you can only have one perfect thing in the world. Oh boy. Oh, I saved myself? Yes! No, I didn't. I thought I did, I did not. That platform is very unforgiving. But who remembers Dunkaroos? Are those still a thing? I was thinking about that the other day, talking to some friends about how there's lots of foods that I remember as a kid that cease to exist, which I think is interesting that food can do that. Food can just, you know, kind of get natural selectioned out. If it's not a popular thing and people aren't buying it, obviously the company's not going to make enough money to 
subsist and be able to continue to produce said food, but sometimes foods make a comeback, which I think is even more interesting. What causes that to happen? Or if the company just, you know, has it hidden in some laboratory and they're just waiting for the moment that millennials or whoever originally had it are old enough to be able to buy it again at inflated prices and shrinkflation sizes. Who knows? But I remember things like that as a kid. So they're eating that. But there's certain foods that's kind of like timeless, which I think is interesting. But who gets to determine that? I guess it's the free mar- oh boy. The free market is what I was trying to say. Okay, so we're only, you know, 10-ish minutes into this one, and we've already gone through 10 of our Dixie Barrels, but we have made substantial progress. We're at least getting to that one spot each time. We've made it to the Ninja Warrior looking spot the next time. I remember watching a lot of that show when I was a kid. Hasn't really, it's not really that old of a show, so it's kind of a bit of a misnomer, but I enjoyed it a lot, and I thought to myself, man, I would love to do this one day until I remember that I have bones and muscles. My body said, no thank you. But I'm very impressed with all the athletes, male and female, and whoever competes, doing extraordinary things. Or even let kids do it now. I remember seeing that. Little kiddos out there. It used to be, back in my day, you had to be, I think, 21 years old be able to buy a beer before you could compete on Ninja Warrior. Them's were the rules. Whoa, okay. A little bit of a reset. Gonna take this attempt very seriously. Although I take every, I take, I take every attempt seriously, so I'm not really sure how I would take one more seriously. That seems kind of impossible. Oh, wait, there's a puzzle piece right here I missed. Hey, look at that. Good for me. People have probably seen that. Every time that I was doing the take, and they're like, whoa, 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 D-Mike, my guy. See, it's a blessing in disguise. I'm not really using a ton of Dixie as I play, so maybe this could be a donkey only one that I would have mild success in, I don't know. But yeah, he's kind of slippery and springy, so it does make it a little tricky to continue. Well, I guess that's kind of a spot where Dixie is very useful. Oh, boy. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> the game gave me a second chance and I blew it. Alright, we'll do one attempt. One attempt as Donkey. And uh, if I cannot succeed to at least a decent level where I feel confident that I'll pull it off, I'm gonna dip back out and engage in some commercialism with Funky. I've already spent enough time on this level that I don't really want to to bore my viewers. All right, so far so good. Yeah, this one isn't, there are some levels when you play and it just seems like, how are you supposed to finish this without the Kong Panion? But in this one, I think it's probably okay. But I say that now and I have a habit of speaking too soon and putting my foot in the mouth. So, we'll see. See if I have too many platform problems. I'm gonna have them no matter what, but hopefully I don't have too many. There's a spectrum of how many, oops. I think I'll give it one more go. That one didn't feel egregious to me. Ooh, I almost jumped too soon. I think I can, I think I can make a little bit further. I feel pretty good about the last attempt. And this one I feel like once you get kind of the gimmick, it's not too bad. The timing feels very wrong though, I'll tell you that, as you go and the platforms that flip over at least, those ones will always feel very wrong. Like you're a little bit too early and you're gonna fall through. I'm assuming that was designed like that to give me anxiety. Thanks Retro Studios. Tell my counselor about it. We knew that Retro Studios could increase the amount of mental health professionals in the world. Okay. So we're doing okay. A little bit of a roll jump there, kind of to smooth things out. Oof. Yeah, there's some moments when I'm doing this and I'm just like, this feels wrong. Am I doing this right? But thankfully, you just gotta kind of trust yourself Anticipation is kind of a, a little one too. 
That's kind of how I would explain it. You have to anticipate the jumps you're doing. All right. So far, so good. Have to jump really quickly. That's kind of the tricky part. You can't waste any time. There's no time like the present. All right, here we go. See, that was pretty good, but yeah. I'd like to finish this sometime today, so let's go ahead and dip out of the level. We will have to recollect the puzzle pieces, which is not a big deal. Just gives me more time to ramble while we're slapping around the juicy jungle. I think it is interesting, though, is that if you remember in the, the, the last episode of the one before, I was unable to buy any more of the toys. Apparently, there is a, a maximum that you can buy of the toys. I didn't know that. I thought that was kind of strange. But now I'm going to have more of an incentive to grab those banana coins. I'm burning through all of them with all these toys and with adding Dixie to the, the entourage here. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll start with the five. I mean, I don't think you need to do this here, but just to be safe. It's safer to have a friend and not go alone to share your problems with, especially when they're platform problems. Don't hold those inside. Make sure you address it. Talk to somebody you trust. Make sure you tell them how you want them to help. Because they don't know. Sometimes you just want to vent. At the times you're looking for advice. But you got to tell your friends. Or people that are going to be helping. Okay, that says four. I thought I brought five. Maybe not. Okay, so let's see if we can get all the puzzle pieces from before. We'll just pretend that... Uh, all those other attempts never happened. How about that? Okay. So far, so good. Get the bananas here once again. If you're missing any hearts and you need a bit of a refill, there you go. We have so far made it unscathed. Yeah. You gotta really anticipate your jumps. Kind of lead them a little bit. To make it here. To make it on your own. But this level in general, I think it's pretty fun and encourages the different kind of jumps you can make. So this is this is definitely the ABJ level, always be jumping. And see, having the companion there lets you have a little bit of a reset, which is nice. We had to reset before to grab that puzzle piece up on the left that I missed, which. I see plain and clear right now. Oops, okay, that's fine. That was a tactical error. By error, I mean taking damage. Sometimes you just have to do that. All right. So far, so good. We'll wait for the next round. There we go. And then once again, you gotta be quick. You gotta get back to it. Oof. There you go. Having the companion definitely helps. But it's that taking damage right there that's a little tricky. You can't really do too much. You can't kind of just like wait around. Oh boy. Taking a lot of damage right there was bad. You're just getting plenty of this, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully. Oh, it's because it gave it to It's the one that I have when I started. I was like, why don't we need a four? So they started with one. Team Up Industries here, brought to you by Basic Math. Alright, so we're back at it again. We're doing well. Probably trying to speedrun this level in particular would be really fun, but also really tough to do. But if you do it enough, you probably have premium, ooh, premium muscle memory. Which is something I can't afford. I just get the store brand muscle memory. Okay. And I think it's just that, that one section that's going to keep throwing me off. But once I can kind of muddle my way through it, I think I'll get it. Because I'm getting pretty close. I just don't quite have the reaction time that I need for it. But I've done well so far. Makes me think of steak. 
had a conversation the other day arguing with, about steak. I don't know why that happened, but hey, it's just the company I find myself surrounding them, surrounding myself with. People kind of gatekeeping steak or not gatekeeping steak. I mean, usually you feed whoever you want to. But I remember hearing a story of. Oops. I got too caught up in my story and I wasn't paying attention. Oops, I'm sorry, viewers. That was a meaty mistake. A mistake, get it? <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, I'd heard a story of, uh, recently, of somebody who had bought a pretty expensive cut of meat that historically is made a certain way, I don't know. I guess, like, medium rare is kind of the prime way to make a steak, according to someone. And, uh, society, we live in a society. So, they had purchased this cut of meat to surprise their father for Father's Day. And he decided to take said cut of meat and overcook the juju out of it. And it made the person who bought it very sad. So apparently that's a no-no in certain, certain clans, but I think you should make it however you want it to be. Kind of a medium boy myself. A good steak sometimes, if it's made the way you want it, you don't even really need anything to come with it. So no, like, you don't need to smother it in anything. Some people think smothering a steak is grounds for for jail. But I think you should make it however you want it. I like, that. like I said, I like a nice medium steak. Throw some seasoning on it. You know, let's not, let's not be bland. I grew up, my parents never really seasoned any food. So my palate is kind of a bit of a mystery at this point. I'm starting to kind of try more and new things as I get older, but unfortunately, my belly's a little sensitive, so it's a, a bit of a mystery how much I can handle before my body rejects it. So yeah, that's a it's fun. You know, it's like a it's like a game. It's like a game of will I be pooping a lot today or not? Man, that section is really tough. Okay. We're gonna keep at it though. We're only 22 minutes in. I feel like we're making decent enough progress that this hopefully isn't boring for you all. Which is funny because I remember when I used to make Let's Plays on the old channel a long time ago, I was a perfectionist to the point where I wouldn't put out content unless I had, you know, done a level a certain way and it got kind of exhausting. Now, I don't know if that's true for every game that I played, but I know that I did a couple of series on that channel where Historically, the way that the game is played is that if you let a character die, that, you know, the classic mode is you reset and try to keep everybody alive. That's kind of the, the mantra. And so I would play through those games and really hold myself to that. And so you might wind up doing a recording sesh. That's, you know, oops, if I could have, okay. That might start off pretty cash. It might start off... You know, simple and easy, and you know, you're just having fun. And then eventually, you... Okay, I guess I'm taking that many. Eventually, you know, you get to the end of the level, and you have a little bit of a snafu, or as my friend says, a snap-fu. A little bit of a snafu. Make a mistake. And you gotta start over. Which can be a little frustrating. I mean, I still play that series. If you all have played it, you'll know what I'm talking about. I still play that series that way. It's my favorite series. It's my favorite way to punish myself, I suppose. A little bit of a masochism never hurt anybody. But yes. Those recordings would not be so cash. I mean, they were in the moment, but then as time would go on, and I would hit a moment of failure. Having to reset after all that time was kind of brutal. It made me really question what I was doing. Because my format back in the day used to literally be, I'm going to take this content, I'm going to record it poorly, and then I'm going to share it with the world. I didn't schedule anything. I didn't edit anything. I didn't put anything out that was really admirable. But... That's what I would do. And so I would have time in between errands or classes or whatever I was doing at the time. And, oops. And so I only had a very select amount of time to be making content. 
Which I probably should have been doing other things like making friends or, you know, living life, whatever. And, uh... So I would devote it to to the craft of the Let's Play. And then sometimes it would just go really poorly and I would just have to live with that, so... Oh, man! You gotta jump real quick off that one. That's the little part that's kind of getting me hung up. I'm trying to figure out what my upper limit is here for... Dragging this video along, because I still have to do the boss fight. But this video is high quality, and I don't want to leave anybody hanging on content. I want you to see it all. I can show you the world. Don't you dare close your eyes. But yeah. The format back in the day was a little different. It was just kind of more raw by the seat of my pants. I did what felt right in the moment. Whether or not it was good, I don't know. But that's the way it was back in the day but things here are obviously far more refined we're we're more mature in culture we've aged like a fine can of soda out in the summer sun we're a little more flat than we used to be but that's okay we're still delicious and sweet okay so let's Let's make some progress on this one. We're getting to the point where I feel pretty comfortable with the majority of what I'm trying to do here. It's just that little section, the last kind of third of the platforming that's kind of giving me fits. But I believe in myself because of you viewers. You make me believe. It's a believe in the power of viewership. Oops, a little bit too early. Probably wish I wouldn't have taken that damage now. Ooh, okay. You kind of lead your jumps a little bit here. And... There we go. Okay. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. What kind of nonsense is that? I hit the jumpy jump button. I did get the puzzle piece, though. I feel like there's not really a whole lot of the level after that, too. So, once I'm able to finally accomplish that little subsection, it's gonna be very, oh boy. It's gonna be very quick. It makes me think of those episodes of Yoshi's Island where I'm struggling for a little bit. And then I'm like, man, how, how am I supposed to do this? Where do I go? And then it turns out that the kind of bonus ring is maybe five or 10 seconds away. So, you live and you learn. I could never know, unfortunately. I'm not much of a DKC, Tropical Freeze perfectionist or knowledgeist. Maybe back in the day on the Hoi Yu, on the OG. But I did learn something the other day, speaking of Donkey Kong. This is the last Donkey Kong game that's been, I believe, put out as a AAA title since like 2014. And then obviously this one doesn't count because this is a... This is a, um... A port. So, you know, they didn't really do anything to it. I mean, they added funky mode, so maybe it's like a little bit of an upgrade too. Like, you do get a little more of it than just the original game. And I believe that they pulled the... There was RNG in this game. I think it was maybe just for boss fights, but it could have been for anything, as far as I know. I didn't really read too well. But that's not, you know, unfamiliar to me. So, after they made this game, there hasn't really been anything since 2017, or 2014 whenever this port came out. I don't know why I thought 2017. But, yeah, there hasn't been anything since. Oh, no. My hands are getting sweaty. Mom spaghetti. Okay, here we go. And... There is some sort of an announcement I was reading that apparently there is a game that's already been made or is, like, done? Which is kind of sneaky that they haven't really teased anything or talked about it. But there is supposed to be some more Nintendo news. The end of the month of June, beginning of July, whenever this goes up, I have no clue. But yeah, pretty exciting. Hopefully it's another entry into this series, maybe not. I don't know how many titles in a franchise before Nintendo's like, you know what? This is making us a ton of money, but nope. We are going to move on and do something different that people don't like. So we'll find out. Hopefully it is another DKC game because this series is 
my favorite of the Donkey Kongs. I enjoy it with all my heart most of the time. All six of my hearts. I would enjoy it more if I could just finish this level one time so I could fight the boss, which I know I'm not going to be able to do in one try, but we will find out. It'll be... It won't be in one try, but it'll be on my first try. So I know that at least. Okay. I feel like we're getting pretty good though, because we're able to consistently make it here. Oof. That part always kind of scares me. It's like it wants you to take a very little jump, but then it also does not want you to take a very little jump. Alright. A little one there though, so you don't get hit by the angry gra- Oh no! No! You don't want to be hit by the angry grape crystals. Okay, do I have any more Dixies? I have two more Dixies, all right. How about this, we'll do two more attempts because this video is 30 minutes of just one stage, which is ridiculous. If I can't do it in one of these two attempts, I will do a quick cutaway to the section of a successful attempt. Basically to the spot that I already was. You guys can all laugh at how close I was to finishing and not getting the job done. Sometimes you just gotta... You just gotta recalibrate. Drink some water. Alright. Oop. I like it all. Alright, there we go. Oof. Needed a recharge there. You wanna... I mean, at least if you're me, you wanna have maximum hearts. Which, I've seen people do this. Like this level with just Donkey Kong and two hearts. And I'm like, how? They are the superior Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze player for sure. They're better at being a player than I am. That's a fact. But I would like to finish this. I'm committed to it. I've only, you know, played through it a couple dozen times now. I feel like that's probably enough to have been able to do it. But yeah, these, these levels are kind of tricky. It kind of makes me like, I'm not super enthusiastic to play these. I mean, I enjoy this game, but the challenge does kind of wane after a while. It's one of those scenarios where if you're playing a game and you can't figure it out, sometimes you, especially if it's a puzzle game, I don't know if I would really call this a puzzle game, but um, you kind of have to just, oops. See, I would have died there if it wasn't for Dixie. That's smart. This is one of those games where maybe you, you take a little, a little breaky poo, and you come back, you don't want to stress yourself out. Oops. All right, gotta be quick here. All right. I mistimed it, but I was close. It's always the one take that I do where I'm not commentating, where I'm able to figure it out. Obviously, you know, that's kind of a, a you know, a brain dead thing to say. I'm not splitting my focus. And you know, the human brain is not really capable of multitasking. So you'll find that when you're devoting all your squiggly brain worms to one task, you can probably do it more better than if you were trying to split it up like I am. Talking and playing is not the most trivial thing to do, but it is kind of tough when I've got all these things that I'm trying to accomplish at the same time. And this is a game where it's like talking in the moment is doing this. Like you have to really have like extreme muscle memory, muscle memory to make it happen. If you're going to do this, like, I'm sure that people that speed run this game, you know, they probably know like the back of their face. And I'm just trying to, to be as good to reach the upper echelon of DKC gameplay fandom. I just wanna, I'm just trying to do it for my, my viewer family. All right, this is our last attempt, so hopefully we can make it a good one. All right. And sometimes it helps to kind of do those little jumps if you have to save yourself. I think that's kind of what is encouraged in a lot of this are those little jumps. Very, very quick button presses. Okay. Oof, okay. 
Let's take a moment here. <laughs> we made it. Alright. New territory here. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we did it on the last try. Also the first try. That was amazing. It only took 35 minutes. Ooh, I was afraid it's not to cut away, but look at that. We have five and six of the whatever wheel thing. I also have to show off the content too. So this episode's gonna be a little bit on the long side. Hopefully we can we can beat off the boss pretty quickly. So thankfully we've got the mysterious relic. Where's the boss? We have to use a blast barrel to get out of the arena. Boss punch bowl, let's do it. Who's ready? This will be fun. I remember this boss being pretty clever like all of them are, but in general I enjoyed this one. I say that now though. Let's enjoy the cutscene. Okay, cutscene over. You get a free barrel if you need it, which is nice. Oh, it's a polar bear. He's having a popsicle. He's having a good time. Those popsicles look pretty delicious, actually. Maybe like a cherry or a grape? A pomegranate? <laughs> oh no! We're jerks! Oh, we ruined his treat. Oh, and we're, and we're mean about it! He's, I'm, I'm kind of on... I'm kind of on his side on this one. So he's gonna wind up here with his big old mallet. The boss music of this one's really good. It's pretty rockin'. Ooh. Ooh, that was close. So here's another one of the kind of gimmicks of this level is... Ooh. He's gonna throw watermelon bombs and ice cubes at you. You gotta... Ooh. Nope. You gotta free those up as you deal with ice physics. It's very fun. Oh. I was gonna ask myself, where's the towel of him of him of he landing? But it's the shadow on the ground. So that always helps. I do do enjoy the rock and rolls, the guitars. Yeah, you gotta free that watermelon bomb. Thankfully the second thing. The secondary block that pops out doesn't take it away from you, which is convenient. What I also do love is that as you progress through this fight, he's going to get progressively... As you progress through this progressive fight, he's going to get more of his... Um, oops. You're going to get more of his... Uh, you can get juice all over him. Ooh, I almost did not get that. That hit was close. That hit was close, yeah. So, I did not do very well on that part of the fight. But that's what you gotta do, is you gotta jump over the cube stacks. You gotta stack up your cubes. There's a lot that kind of goes on to this fight. That's probably, I think, why I like it a lot. Because it's just got a whole lot going going with it. Right. There we go. And that time did not make him dizzy. Oops. Oops is what I just said. I have... Evolved past oops, and I have mo moved on to the Midwest Oops. I gotta case the oops. Alright. So we're doing well so far. He's very grumpy and very purple, as he should be. Maybe the grumpy part. The purple part, that's subjective. You don't want to be too purple. Purple's a wonderful color, but you don't want to be... You don't want to be covered in purple. You don't want that. Okay. So, I think it's probably good just to preemptively jump when the ice cubes come raining down. Give yourself a chance to jump over, or just wait till the very end. Oops. You can find yourself on the far end of the stacks. That works too, but you don't want to be too far away, because if you're too far away, you're not going to be able to bonk him on his head when he gets all busy. Alright. This might be the longest episode of Donkey Kong ever, but I think we're on to the final phase here. He's going to start uh, really sending stuff our way. Oops. Nope. Oh, that doesn't kill you. Oh, that's very convenient. But well, we missed we missed the cycle. Our first one of the fight, unfortunately. But falling into the falling into the the goop. 
does not kill us, thankfully. Oh, he faked us out. That's mean. I remember that happening too, and I was telling—I was going to tell myself, I was like, "I'm not going to—I'm not going to get stuck," and then I did. The game is very kind and will give you a heart upon hitting Mr. Punch Bowl. I don't know if that's his name or not, but I don't want to misrepresent him. All right, so hopefully there's a watermelon bomb. There it is. In the second to last stack, third to last stack. Actually, it wasn't. Oh. <laughs> I guess it wasn't 100% sure I was going to be able to jump over that. Ah, no. Okay, so we're doing this Dixie list. Oh, we didn't, we didn't have enough time. Okay. I'm not sure how many more hits he's going to need, but I feel like we're getting probably pretty close to the end here. So that way we can go and, go and show off some art. But I don't want to get ahead of myself, because we still got some work to do. Oh, okay. I like, he, I like the animation of him just kind of gently kicking the stack. Okay. We'll see what gimmick he does here. Okay, I missed the cycle. Great. But I feel like this one we got him. This might be the... Nope, we don't. We do not. Okay, is this the finale? Yes! Okay, and I hit the buttons very fast, you could hear it, and it didn't give it to me, so... So much for that! I don't know if I've actually hit any of the bosses, maybe the first one I did. But that was a first try, just like the, the K level, both first tries, kind of incredible. We did it! We murdered somebody while they're trying to enjoy a delicious summer treat. And this, my friends, is the final. Of all the worlds, Donkey Kong Island. How do I get back? There we go. All right, I guess I don't really need to do that. I can just show you the, the art from anywhere. Let's check out our figurines. We got all the walrus gentlemen. We're still missing some, but I tried to buy the, oh, I like this guy, look at this. Lemmington, oh, that's what they are. Let's zoom in. These are the little things that I was really confused before. I couldn't tell if they were rats. Are they lemmings? That would make sense, wouldn't it? Oh my, look at that. Huh. You learned something new. But yeah, I'm missing, I'm missing a handful. I feel like I've got about half, which is fine, but we'll get there. Okay, okay. So let's look at some stuff from the Juicy Jungle. This looks like if Donkey Kong was made by like Disney Animation Studios. A little bit too friendly for me. I like my Donkey Kong to be kind of edgy. It's a pretty cool drawing. I could never draw something like this. Seeing anybody that has the talent to be able to make art in any meaningful way. I mean, obviously art is subjective, like it could be applied to anything, but hand-drawn art, especially like this with like the watercolor kind of effect going on. It's very nice and I'm very appreciative for all of you who are able to contribute that to humanity. Thank you. Very nice. And even the, whatever this style is, you know, this one, this one, ah, maybe this one's more watercolor. I'm not sure. It all looks really nice. I enjoy it. I enjoy the pig statues. I'm not sure what this was supposed to be. It's like a little pig village, almost. And here we go. Last but not least, my friends. No, second to the last but least. We have the weird berry gecko. Grumpy bee. Uh, pooping centipede. Venus afro plant. And farting toucan. So there's that. And the last thing we're gonna do is check out the diorama for this one. Go ahead and zoom it on in. Looking pretty juicy, lots of fruit around. Humongous bees, these things are incredibly large. Oof, stingers, not my favorite. Gigantic plant, feed me Seymour, right? Right, okay. And then up at the top, we got Funky hanging out. I don't think I can really rotate it enough to show you it's too much detail, kind of closes it off, but that's all for now. And next time, ladies and gentlemen, we will be taking on Donkey Kong Island. So thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, and I'll catch you later. Bye.